Well, greetings to you. It's good to see you. And um, it's my joy to be with Francis Maloney here this morning. And Francis is going to be ordained as priest on Sunday, the 27th of September. And so we're going to be exploring a little bit what that means um, to be ordained as priest and what uh, it means for Francis. So Francis, it's great to see you. Morning. And um, you, um, how, how perhaps you could talk a little bit about your experience and how have you experienced God's calling upon you? I was thinking a little bit about this the other day and I think one of the ways um, in which that's, I've experienced that is in um, just unexpected conversations with people suggesting that I go into this kind of work and they might not have the right words to use for it but I remember um, a form tutor at my school um, who observed me give a couple of reflection kind of things in assembly and he, he himself wasn't a Christian but he said oh maybe there's a future for you in preaching um, and uh, and really meant it and at the time I kind of laughed that off um, and there's been a few occasions over the years where people have suggested that I go into ministry um, for myself when I was much much younger um, I did have a sense uh, as a child that I probably would um, one day um, look at uh, ordination um, and uh, that sort of went away but uh, through the encouragement of people at my church um, when I was in the youth group and things I was encouraged to go off to Bible college and then off the back of that um, just began to explore what my ministry would look like and I've come to this this time and here you are and here I am <laughs> brilliant well um, and, and we're delighted to, to, to be with you at this time and, and last year of course you were ordained as deacon and this year you'll be ordained as priest so yes. what, what, what does it mean to be ordained as priest well that's, I suppose that's like the million dollar question but um I think for me, a priest, being a priest, is fundamentally about how other people perceive you because you're given an office, you're given a role um, with some definition to it, but actually also a lot of freedom um, within it. And so in one sense, a priest is just another Christian, someone who's just trying to follow Jesus. But I think the way that then people will relate to you from within the church is they expect you to lead. They expect you to do things like taking services in very practical terms. They expect you to, um, when we do this funny thing called communion, to play the part of Jesus as we reenact um, the Last Supper, um, to uh, lead people through different times and lives and baptisms and weddings and, and, and so on. So I think that's how I would see it, is actually to define it by what a priest does is how it, your function changes and that is seen by how then people relate to you and what they expect you to do so i guess that's what the church is asking me to become yeah and so on on the 27th of, of september your ordination service will take place so so what actually happens at, at one of those services in one sense it's very similar to any other communion service perhaps with a little bit of pomp <laughs> uh then normal um but it's it's a service where we'll have readings and hymns and all the usual stuff but there is this significant moment for me at least in the service where the bishop will um lay hands and pray a very simple prayer um for the holy spirit to uh, fall on me and to um to ask the holy spirit to make me a priest and it's really as simple as that it's really two lines of liturgy uh, and yet quite a profound thing we believe happens um in that moment mm. excellent excellent and and then what what happens after that after the service on the 27th well a lot of people have asked uh, do we are you going off somewhere else and actually i hope the good news for most people will be no <laughs> uh, i will be staying around and um uh, i will still continue a lot of the things i already am doing such as alpha and work with young people um but uh, I will be allowed to, will be authorised to celebrate communion. Um, and so my role will change a little bit, um, but I'll be around for uh, another few years to come. Brilliant. And, and of course, in the first instance, you'll celebrate your first communion service on Tuesday evening, won't you, on the 29th of yes. September? So that'll be a very special time for me. Yeah, wonderful. Well, it's really good to, to talk with you now, but also to, to walk with you at this really important time um, for you, but also in, in, in the life of, of the church as we look forward to celebrating and, and rejoicing in what will be a, a wonderful occasion. So we, we wish you well. Thank you. 
Well, if you'd like to come along to the service on Sunday the 27th of September, it's at St Stephen's Church, Redditch at 10.30 in the morning. Um, you will need to book a ticket, um, so please do that. Tickets will be available from this Sunday, the 20th, um, and you can find those on our holytrinityredditch.org.uk website. And equally, if you'd like to come uh, to Francis's First Communion service on Tuesday the 29th at 7.30 in the evening, also at St Stephen's Church, then you'll be able to book a ticket for that too. We look forward to seeing you there.